Today we're going to show how to remove the brake shoes on a typical electric brake axle. This one in particular is a 12 inch trom. We're using that one because it's kind of large and easy to see. But this applies to virtually all electric brakes from this size on up and down to the smaller sizes. We'll go over how, how it comes apart and some of the tools you need to do it with. Before we get started here, we'll, we'll go over a couple of notes here. First off, obviously this brake assembly isn't attached to an axle. So just for clarity, we just left it off the axle and we'll just work with it as is. All the steps pertain the same. You get a little bit of leverage on things when you have an axle. And you'll need a few specialty tools also. You can pick these up at the local auto parts store. You're going to spend probably around $20, $25, well worth the hassle, or money for the hassle. Uh, you're going to need three tools. You're going to need this adjustment tool to be used on the adjuster right here. You'll also need this uh, shoe spring tool which you can use on these tensions, on these spring tensions right here, or retainer springs, whichever you want to call them. And this tool here will actually be used to remove the spring here, which is actually keeps all the tension. Uh, those three tools is basically all you need to take it apart with. Okay, first step in what we're going to do is you have to start on the back side of the backing plate. So you're going to have to, in our case, we're going to flip it over, but it'll be, just go behind your axle. And you take off this catheter adjuster. And then this adjuster here, you'll want to spin it down to where it has, you know, as close as possible so it takes out much, takes out a lot of attention. So go ahead. Then we'll go back to the front side of the back and white, and then we'll take off these tension springs up here. Much easier than a pair of vice grips. And once you got this loosened up, you can actually pull them apart a little bit, get some tension off, and then you can go ahead and pull, you can take some tension out, you can actually pull this apart and get your adjuster out of there. That way you don't have to worry about these little pinpoints, just go ahead and just, it's a lot easier to do it that way. And last but not least, you go ahead and take out your uh, shoe retainer springs, techni is a technical term. And this just sits on and you just spin them around and come off. That's pretty much the extent of taking them apart. Just reverse the procedure, we'll show you that, put it back together. Now that once you've got your new shoes ready to go on, let's go ahead and just like so practically just repeat the procedure and start by putting your shoe back in place. Retainer springs. Right, ready to go. Okay, when we put your shoes back on, in my case, we're going to have to get underneath of it, push this pin back to hold it in place. It'll be a little bit easier when you have it on the axle. By the way, quarter turn is all it takes to take them, to put, them put them on and off. Go ahead and put these back in to place. And what you can do is go put your adjuster back in there. Start with the spring. What you can do here, the same principle, just kind of, since there's not much tension there, just sneak it back in there. Now we'll start moving on this spring here. Go ahead and do one. ready to put your hub back on. And after you get your hub back on, you go back to the back side and use your adjuster to adjust the brakes as you need to. 